Okay guys, so I wanted to show you how dark it is in my bathroom. It's insane how dark it is. So this is it in the daytime without the light on. This is it with the light on. As you can see the lighting is not adequate. So what I did is I went online and this is how the package came. So it wasn't very professional the way it was packaged, but I ordered some vanity LED lights comes with a plug, it comes with a dimmer switch, directions, and these are the lights. So two things that I do not like about my new bathroom. I don't like this inadequate lighting. One of the light bulbs went out, so I'm going to replace that. I don't like this inadequate lighting. As you can see, it leaves like a yellow hue. If you look at the lighting in the bathroom, the lighting in the shower, excuse me, is brighter um, than the lighting in the bathroom. Also, this fan. This fan comes on every single time you come into the bathroom. There are only two switches. One is to turn the light off, which is connected to the fan, and another to turn on the heating system, which is here. So what I don't like is this noise. So when you're getting up in the middle of the night and you have to come in to use the bathroom, you don't want to come in and hear that noise. And then when you're getting dressed and you want to put on any sort of makeup or anything, this is the lighting that's in the entire bathroom. So I'm going to show you guys what this install looks like, how bright they are, how the dimmer works, and how I am going to set them up around the wall. I'm actually not going to put them directly on the mirror as many people have done. I'm going to actually put them around the mirror in a square shape. So I'm going to dust and clean um, everything and then I'm going to set up the lights. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. The installation steps for the vanity lights are very straightforward and easy to follow. I really like that on the back of the installation steps form, the seller included tips to help you as you're going along and installing these lights. It's very basic and straightforward though, you guys. It's not even possible to mess this up, honestly. It's really easy and it came out really great when it's done, which you'll see later on in the video. So I grabbed a measuring tape because I wanted to measure each light. That is going to help you whenever you're spacing out the lights around any surface that you want to put them on. I grabbed scissors so I can cut the lights and I put aside the extra adhesive tape that the seller also included in the box. So I wanted to plug them in to make sure that all the lights work and make sure that the dimmer works. This is what the lights look like when you just plug them in and you have not added the dimmer switch. So this is the dimmer switch. I'm going to connect it and I want to show you exactly how it works. You're going to press it once to turn it on. It's going to come on at its brightest capacity. And then when you want to dim it, you just hold your finger on to the on off switch. A lot of people in the Amazon reviews were saying that their dimmer didn't work and it was broken, but it was just that you have to hold your finger down on the switch and that's how the dimmer works. For cutting the lights, you want to make sure that you bend the lights 
before you cut in between them. The plastic that the lights are made out of is actually really soft and easy to accidentally cut. So make sure that as you see here, I'm bending the lights when I'm cutting, I'm bending them so I make sure that I'm only cutting along the adhesive and not cutting into the plastic that surrounds the LED vanity lights. Really easy and simple to do and quick. So each light measures about three inches. I'm gonna keep this in mind whenever I'm deciding how many square rectangular lights I'm going to place on each side of the mirror. Again, I'm going behind the mirror and not placing the lights on top of the mirror, but that is definitely something you can do if that is your choice. So what I did is I plugged them in and I just placed them around because I wanted to get a feel for where exactly I was going to place each light and how it was going to look. And I really love the glowing effect that it gives behind the mirror. And since I can't purchase one of those mirrors that have the lights behind it, this is going to be my next best thing. I remove the adhesive and I place the lights on the bathroom wall. I noticed that whenever I place the lights, I place them really close that first go around. So what I did is I individually went through and I took each light off one by one and then replaced them but spaced them out a little bit more. This really helped to pull the look all together. Very easy to install and I really got this done in less than 15 minutes, you guys. So you can do this easily. So I grabbed the extra adhesives that came, I took a piece off, I folded it in half and I applied it to the back of the power button for the vanity lights and then stuck it against the wall. This is a really great tip because it'll keep your cord from getting wet and off of the bathroom sink if you are putting these lights in your bathroom. I also ran to the 99 cent store and bought LED bulbs that are daylight LED bulbs. Very important that you make sure that the package says daylight on them. And then this is the result that you will have in your bathroom. I love it, it's absolutely beautiful, it's bright. I have that glowing effect behind the mirror, which I really wanted. And now when I enter my bathroom, I don't have to flip the switch and have that loud fan on. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that it helped you. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am on TikTok and Instagram at to live in Dayton LA and on my blog to live in Dayton LA.co. Thanks so much and have a blessed day, everybody. Mm -hmm.